Flex on them, BYU men's volleyball, big week. Welcome back to BYU Sports Nation. We're live in Studio B. We're over in the Cougar Council Room now to discuss things with Tyler Hergett, who joins us from the BYU men's volleyball team. Tyler, welcome to BYU Sports Nation. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. Hey, how are you feeling about tournament week now that it's set and you know what lies in front of you in the MPSF? Um, we're feeling really confident. I think that we didn't really care who we were going to play in the first round. We just wanted to, to be given an opportunity, and we, and I think throughout the season we've been faced with a bunch of challenges. We've had some ups and downs, and the coaches have been really um, vocal about staying steady throughout the season and climbing. And mm. and we can have our ups and downs here and there, but if we minimize them and keep them pretty small, then we can really utilize this in the MPSF tournament and make a run and go for it. Realizing familiarity, it's on both sides of this matchup, mm -hmm. but. Is it, does it help? Does it hurt? Is it in, are you indifferent on, on playing the team in the opening round that you just faced to finish the regular season? I mean, how, how, does, how do you guys look at that matchup having just faced this USC team? We're hungry, I'll tell you that. Um, losing in five to them for the last game of the season kind of hurt us. But we, we talked about it later, and we all recognized that it was actually something very good for us um, to rebound to have a really good week at practice this past week and to really come out firing against them um, on Wednesday. And USC, they're a great team, and they're going to be at home. They're going to have their fans there. Everyone else is going to be there, and we just know we need to come out to play. You experienced victory against them the night before. Yeah. You know what victory tastes like against exactly. USC. And then, yeah, the agony of defeat in five exactly. sets. Exactly. How much does stewing on a loss like that really impact what you do as a team? not just emotionally, but like, does it make you practice harder and go harder physically? Um, for us, I think so, because we have been pushing ourselves um, since day one of this season with roster changes, with people coming in and out. Um, I think we've really come together as a team. So when something doesn't work out in our favor as a team, we come together as a team, we really put it upon ourselves to be, become better. And I think that that's really what has fueled us this past week in practice. On a personal note, what has this season meant to you? Um, that's a good question. Personal note. Yeah, and that's a transfer from Penn State. Yeah, I mean, I mean like you, you, you opted for BYU. You were at a good program where yeah. they have a good volleyball community and there's great – you know, respect yeah. for the sport there, but you chose to come to BYU. Yeah, and yeah. realizing, you know, that you're hoping there's a lot more volleyball to go. But to, go. to this point, what has this season been like for you? I think it's been a great learning opportunity. The more I talk to Sean and the coaches who have played here at BYU as well, they're, they're great mentors to all of us in helping us um, utilize our roles in the team. <laughs> and for me personally, I, from um, transferring here, not knowing many of the guys, to becoming like a family here, I think that it's been a really great learning opportunity, and I've really developed my skills here as well um, with all the guys. Tyler Hergert is with us on BYU Sports Nation. Now, for those that aren't familiar with just how much you mean to this team, like the first thing I ever heard about Tyler Hergert, okay, from Sean Olmstead was, everybody loves Hergie, okay? <laughs> One, are you okay with that nickname? I am okay with that You're nickname. okay with the nickname yeah, Hergie, I okay? Am. And I was like, wow, that's yeah. really personal wow. there, Sean, okay? <laughs> has it always okay. been Hergie? Has that always been the nickname? It has not. Well, here it has. Yes. Here it has, yeah. Okay, okay? so it's Hergie at BYU. So you're okay with that? I'm okay with that. Okay, but he said when he's on the floor, everybody just loves it. Like he walks in the gym, we just, everybody loves Tyler. So... And that's tough to do because you are coming as a guy that was on the outside and now yeah. is, is back in. I know you have family history here for sure at yeah. BYU, but like, what's that been like for you to be embraced the way that you have been embraced by this team as the quote-unquote new guy? It's been amazing. Um, the guys, are, they were super welcoming. Uh, being a transfer, it's a bit weird coming into a program where no one knows you and you're kind of then competing against them um, for a starting spot. So it can be kind of weird in that aspect, but I – kind of through, I kind of set family history aside. This is my path. This is what I want to do. I'm going to do whatever it takes. And it, it's been an awesome experience. All the guys were super welcoming. The coaches, they gave me an opportunity, and I, and I snatched that right up. Well, as Spencer alluded to, your, your family, there's a history. Your dad played football mm -hmm. at BYU. So what, what has that part of it meant to, to be at BYU, where your family does have history, and now you can sort of swap BYU stories <laughs> With your dad and family members, what's, yeah. what has that aspect of, of being here been like for you and your family? Uh, I've been able to connect with them a lot more. My dad, he's talked to me a lot about his experiences. Uh, 
since I've, I've come here and it's given me, it's been eye opening to see how he worked for what he was able to uh, achieve while he was at BYU and what I'm able to work towards. Um, which is kind of similar to what he was able to achieve. Has he showed you all of his ultra pixelated highlights? <laughs> he hasn't, but I'll catch him every once in a while watching some stuff. <laughs> Tyler Hergen is with us on BYU Sports Nation. You've mentioned the unique challenge of some roster changes. Obviously, Trent Moser is no longer with the team. That that's always tough to overcome, but you got to figure out how to replace that void. And so, how do you feel like you are? from a lineup standpoint, going into the most important match of the season? Um, I think it's honestly better than ever because, uh, as you guys have probably watched, we have so many guys that are able to come off the bench. They are ready. We've really emphasized this as a team that we cannot win with just the six or seven guys that are on the court. We need every single one of them to come in and, and play their part. And so we have Noah coming in to serve, to set. We have John coming in to serve, to play outside. We have Ian Little. He's coming in to serve as well. We have a bunch of guys that are coming in to play as well. Whenever someone is having an off night, yeah. they are ready. And I think that regardless of the roster changes, it's so important that these guys are just ready to, ready to play as well as the starters. How has your role shifted as the season has progressed? Um... Obviously, I've started. I've played a lot more since the beginning of the season, and that's kind of that was a was kind of just a immediate change in my role. But I'd say um, vocally um, on the court, being someone that touches the ball as frequent as possible, yeah. um, I take it upon myself to really calm the team down, bring us together as a team, and really focus on that on what's ahead rather than what's behind and what's happened because that's when we can really get in trouble. And so I think that um, the more I've played, the more I've talked to the coaches, the more they've helped me realize that my role might not necessarily be the biggest and, and strongest guy in the court because I'm, I'm not that big. But No, uh, but you make everybody else look good. <laughs> you set them up, Tyler. <laughs> and set being the that's operative the word. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. They that's can't the do their job until <laughs> you set them up, right? Line. Exactly, yep, yep 100%. Everybody loves Hergie. Yeah. <laughs> Hergie, yes. <laughs> Tyler, let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma for the matchup against USC. Go make a run in that tournament, man. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Thanks for being with Thanks us. Thanks for coming in. Thank you, guys.